uh, quite a bit. They went to the same college. Uh, Shoutouts to NJIT, uh, Sola, and S. So they've uh, they've got a quite history there, and I'm not actually certain of the set history for Noku and Slay Juice, but dealing with Squirtle as Bayonetta just sounds like a hassle. Yeah, I mean, it can be, but Squirtle kind of does some really good stuff against Bayonetta. You just have to not get caught up yourself, right? And then you get to start doing your big damage because she is a big light character. Um, oh, yeah. That's what I mean. Sore does a lot of good work against Bayonetta, so. But Bayonetta is also just a weird character in general where she does super well against some really, really good characters. Yes. The nature of, like, a solid, like, of a solid, like, low, high tier, high mid tier, whatever you want to place her in the tier list, where it's just, some things are hard, some random things are difficult, but also, some top tiers, not at all. Case in point, Rob, but at this point, Slayjus is looking like they have a real solid knowledge of the Pokemon trainer matchup, which honestly, given how popular the character is, is definitely one of the more studied, but still all the more dangerous, especially once Charizard enters the fray. I mean, Charizard is a volatile matchup here for Bayonetta, right? Like, granted, we saw the stock disappear there. It's just those two characters just beat the hell out of each other. I don't think, I don't know if either one wins more particularly. I'm not super versed in, like, how those mains feel about that matchup, but Charizard does some crazy stuff. He hits hard, and Bayonetta loves to eat up big bodies. Absolutely. I love how Slagius has really pivoted his starter so well, and there he's Ooh. going out for an edge guard there. Doesn't find it under. Oh, <laughs> Ward, that oh, geez, the oh up my smash God, as well. The up smash? Okay. That's that. That's some good stuff. Oh, the read, but the pop out from the witch Witchwist again plays victim to Tate. Slay Juice unable to finish their, uh, finish some food. Still at 102, though. You're feeling, I guess you would normally feel all right, especially if you can get some sort of trap here, whether it be the bullet arts, the rapid jab, the back air off the platform, catching Noku jumping in and punishing him super hard. Yeah, Slay Juice is off to a really hot start here doing really, really well for the most part. Um, but right now, it's just about trying to get back to stage. And you got the Squirtle out here, and we have not seen the Squirtle do as much as they should in this matchup. I mean, as soon as the Squirtle's been out, Slade Juice has been hopping right on top of him, just making some quick soup. It's all in these... Oh, wow, that smash attack was a was a primer. I wonder if Slade Juice had a missed input there or just a super hard read. In other words, Noku actually starting to play the matchup a little bit stronger here at this point, staying as grounded as possible, but Slay Juice comes firing back from offstage, able to convert that into a whole 60% off of some of these up airs and still sharking. Yeah, I do like the fact that they just decided to go for the damage there, not the actual KO, because now, I was about to say, you get to a position where you could close out the stock there, but they didn't end up finding the hit that they wanted to. Look at this runaround. I'm loving some of the empty movement. You're fearing uh, jump yeah, afterburner kick so much from Bayonetta that sometimes all you need to do is dash back and forth and feign the spacing. The worst, the, the most terrifying option you're, uh, you do for your opponent is uh, the the option you don't pick. Oh, forward throw? Yep, yeah. gonna be able to take that stock out of there. 133 is what they lost it at. Oh, okay, uh -oh. Slay Juice. Drop from Halo forward smash. Sure. <laughs> uh oh, but it's getting kind of, kind of spooky. It's Charizard's turn to mess you up, and Banheta can't take much punishment. As you see, Slayjus is just waiting around this edge, trying to turn it into something. And there's the ABK to set at least a little bit up. Nothing quite resolving yet. Another backer comes in. Flare blitz it. Just do it. Just flare blitz. Uh, <laughs> you know, after some of these, it could be there, but the jump back air. Not enough. All right. I think it meant my flare blitz, just not what I really wanted. <laughs> but either way, ooh, you could have got the punish there. Oh, my God. What a brave option by Slay. They ended up finding the stock, but damn, that was risky. Wow. And they had to do... They had to play that on the razor's edge. Charizard was getting into that max rage, getting into that uh, the window where up smash was at the very least making your heart skip a beat at 84 to 165. Tension tension was high, especially with that dash attack being missing. But it worked out in the end for Slay Juice. Can they hold it together, usurp the, the one seed? 
And as funny as it is, as many, uh, as long as I have been watching Noku, uh, and as many as Arcadians as Noku has gone to, I don't think they've ever won one. Which is, uh, I mean, it's kind of heartbreaking, to be honest. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe they find a way to turn around here and make it happen. Could be. You know who else has that one one? You. Gabe. Keep walking around in the back. <laughs> See him there. <laughs> Look at it. He's walking around. Just walking. play. <laughs> Friendlies are open, so he can. <laughs> What's a caster got to do to play some friendlies around here, huh? He's hey, looking through his glasses, making bin. sure he definitely sees everybody's here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I really do like Gabe, man. Oh, He's a yeah. good guy, I, but it's I so know. easy to make fun of him, man. I love it. That's all right. Or it's Tri-State. Teasing is part of the charm. No, it's not. Is it? I've had people complain. Really? Come on. <laughs> ah, damn. Sensei wants to call you a nerd, by the way. Oh. You know, time time to expose Sensei. Time to cancel at FGC Sensei on Ooh, Twitter. Say it. <laughs> You know, one time he called me fat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You see Twitch chat right now? Oh, right, of course you do. You're remote. Choking on water over here. Are you okay, boss? <laughs> choking on water. Choking on water. Say well, water. All you really got to do is say, uh, water. Bring up the time oh. that Ajax <laughs> brought up Sensei. Yo, true, 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 true. Perpetual ninth placer <laughs> sensei, official <laughs> double down <laughs> notoriety. He said, it. "Oh my god, dude, it was so that funny." Killed, that killed I'm me. like, Ajax throwing out strays is the funniest <laughs> shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the most professional strays you'll ever see. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Anyway, uh, uh, game we're getting into the game two here. Game two. <laughs> that was a long coaching session from both sides. Hey, man, sometimes you need the notes, right? We're going to the final oh, destination, though. We'll see how uh, Noku kind of finds the adaptations here and see what they can implement. FD is naturally like a really good counter pick. All right. You lose access to these platform potentials. You're forcing Bayonetta to basically tunnel in on up till is the kill window. That's the kill button. Like uh, the kill setup tool at least, and if you can avoid that, you can force Bayonetta to start killing you at 80 usually. But that uh, that dive kick could have set up for so much. Slade is really trying to open up the bandwagon a little bit, but Noku's not far behind. I mean, this Ivysaur trying to put in some work here. And there we go. Gets caught up in the ABK, finds a way to fall out. Gotta watch some of these tether cancels though. Staying longer in the air is exactly where uh, Bayonetta wants you to be and uh, Slay has been doing an excellent work of stuffing out jumps as all Bayonetta should. The dive kick keeps them away from Charizard up smash but that back air almost closes out from way more than half stage. Yep, but there we go. A little bit of extra damage there, 149. Oh, I wanted to see a down smash attempt, would've been good. Especially with that way Charizard hangs from ledge, man. He is above that ledge. <laughs> he's got a big old neck, but he's also got some big old wings. He's using the stuff out that, uh, utilizing that anti-air and utilizing out of shield, making Slagers really reconsider some of their options as the frame one switch twice over is keeping Noku alive here at 164. Mm -hmm. right. Ooh, there we go. Does find the back air to close out that stock finally. Slay Juice on the board here, only taking 17% in the process, really not that bad. Yeah, frame traps are all the rage when it comes to use, utilizing the center space that is so available for Bayo here. Still, oh, finally getting a grounded forward tilt from Noku. Needs to make this Squirtle count. Yeah, using that water gun, man. Probably chemically treated. I mean, it's coming straight from his gut, so. Whatever. Dude, uh, yeah, there's some chemicals in that water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever's in that turtle is in that water. <laughs> Over at the Ivy Sword. Okay, dive kick, but the good SDI from Noku keeps him, a lot, uh, keeps him away from all of these combos. Make Bayo work for it and get all of this damage from the rapid jab in the corner. Oh, yep, tried to go for that down air. Wasn't able to get the hit that they needed. Would have been a huge spike, too, but here comes Charizard. Yep, gonna throw out that F tilt a couple times. Ooh, the grab? That's not gonna do it. 
Not enough yet, but give it enough, give it one more or keep the up throw fresh for when it will actually close out the stock. Yikes, but this Bayonetta can snowball so quickly, but the, <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> just forward her out of it, just thrown around. Yeah, man, you just, uh, you, you fall out of Witch Twist and you forward air in the process with Charizard. It's that easy. Yeah, the counterplay is real. The, the counterplay is working out here, man. Noku's kind of starting to beat the hell out of Slay. Charizard does so much, and he's so scary throughout all of it. Just pivot, cancel, forward tilt, and you feel your heart stop. Ooh, Ooh that boy. back air was real close. But it just keeps on keeping on for no uh, for Noku finally landing an up tilt. But the DI is so good that it's nowhere even near close to killing. It's either edge guard or bust at this point for Slay Juice. Yeah, I heard that flare blitz come out. Uh, he was definitely trying to make a play there. That was a mis misplay or a mis input, excuse me. But uh, it was definitely terrifying for a little bit. Either way, 165. Yeah, that mm, with all that rage, 100%. And the spot dodge read as well. I mean, Charizard up smash kind of naturally covers spot dodge because of the activity of the move, the second flap of those wings. But uh, he charged it instead. He did the hard work and got the big reward of a two-stock game two, Charizard taking over that game. Yeah, definitely a, a nice turnaround there. Who's his coach? Uh, for Noku? Yeah. That is uh, Delta Force. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, he got a haircut recently. Okay, that's what threw me off. Yeah. Looks good. Shout out to Delta Force. Get you a coach like Delta Force, man. You see how you see how Noku stares at him? There's so much hope in his eyes. And the He's conversation. He's trying to gain all this knowledge here. Yeah. Relaying what he learned. Delta Force kind of breaking down. It's like, all right, this is where you're successful, but don't get overzealous. Don't try to tunnel in on what made game two work because right over there, Slay Juice is adapting. Pharaoh is breaking down. Just might work, what might not. But they're they're locking in. The fist bump as well. They're ready to go for this game three. Coaching's so cool. I mean, I, I definitely like it for Arcadians. I mean, that's kind of what Arcadians are for anyway. Like, it's for all the, the lower guys to kind of get their shine here. So why not bring in some of the uh, the top talent to kind of help them get better, man? That's That's how scenes thrive. Yeah, get the get the PR to to work to uh, nurture some of the the, the gatekeepers, some of the soon to be. Get them, get them to level up. Get everybody here to level up. As we like, every setup is covered in friendlies. Every setup is is uh, packed, and every game is coming down to the wire as an early start for Noku means that they're on a they're on the right track at the very least. But Bayonetta can explode with just the right hit. Yeah, man, and having these platforms is definitely going to help a little bit. There goes Squirtle. Thank goodness you did not lose that stock. Yeah, that would have been in as an insane a reversal as you can get. Just from ledge hang into stock taken, feel pretty good about it. But instead, it's only 81, and the Bats Within turns that back air into another combo. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> just, just crouching real quick to see what happens. <laughs> like, right, I'm not going to get hit by the bullet arts. Not going to do it. Ooh, we're really not going to do it. Avoiding that second, uh, some of those gunshots. This back throw, gonna, just going to set up a ledge trap. Noku never trying to overextend, Ooh. but instead Slay Juice gets desperate to try and get back to center and falls victim in a big way for it. Yeah, that was definitely a little bit of a rough spot there, but uh, oh, okay, getting pushed off the stage. That was the cheeky. flamethrower, interesting. I really, I really like that kind of stuff. I keep thinking of the... Like the Leo jump from ledge uh, with the Pyra side B, but since it hit shield and didn't activate, like you get access, like that kind of stuff is real cool. Just like some of those forward air chains could have been if they result in the stock and find the miss spacing will allow a shield grad four throw from Slay Juice and only taking 6% while they're at it. Just really going to show the mobility of Bayonetta is almost second to none. Well, that's, uh, that 6% actually came from a uh, Bats Within. True. So uh, it was definitely just a nice defensive option. Uh, DLC cheating here, but tune down DLC. Yeah, in a past life. In a past life, yeah. <laughs> man, so here we go, man. Squirtle now out to play here. Going to be putting down some solid damage. I do like his use of Water Gun because he's trying to keep Bayonetta off stage because while she does well out there, it does allow him to kind of like, you know, readjust his game plan as needed. 
Ooh, the fly out of shield. First time we've been see we saw that one in a little bit, and it comes out almost in a big way to take the stock. Instead, Slagius is allowed to wrap this a little bit closer and get things... Get, get your nails biting at the very least. Another roll gets by, but Noku finds the turnaround grab and finds the up throw. That battlefield, uh, small battlefield platform ever present. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was at that moment that he knew he screwed up. Yep, yeah, yeah, definitely a, a tough spot there. But, um, you know, you, you live, you learn, and now we're one stock apiece. I thought somewhere Slade just was going to fall to their death. I'm going to be real with you. He hasn't done the, the typical Bayonetta one, uh, one SD per set, so that's a good sign already. <laughs> uh, that's a bad sign. This is the last stock. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got plenty of time here, man. This could be bad news. Especially with some of these uh, heal slides that uh, Slade Juice has been going for. He's really after... The, the high roll combo, trying to find a starter on Squirtle, but as long as Noku sticks around 13% or so, there's no incentive to switch, no incentive to give Slade Juice a bigger target. And one of the things that he can actually be doing here is while trying to play this ledge game uh, with Squirtle, is you can actually charge up that down smash to try to cover a roll, and if they neutral get up after you, you actually do that, ooh, ooh. well there it goes that, I mean, I was going to say, you could actually waterfall almost immediately after down smash. So. Yeah, it's, it acts very similar to uh, Meta Knight down smash, where not only is it, it's it's a little bit less, uh, it's not as fast, but it's got real low end lag, and it's pretty strong. As we see, it's a great finisher off of a missed tech, and what better starts tech chases than Squirtle forward tilt? Such an amazing move, and it turns into a stock for, uh, for Noku, Pushing their way into Grand Finals winner side, awaiting the the victor of the loser's bracket. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now it's uh, going to be getting into loser semis, which S actually took it 2-1 over Sola. So definitely a nice play there.